Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you a cool trick that will allow you to have a different color to highlight the maximum value for a bar chart in Excel, and then another color that will highlight the minimum value for a bar chart in Excel. So here we have just a basic bar chart. Bob, what were his sales for these 10 days? And we want to have a, all the bars are blue now, but we want to have, like just, we want to have a different color for the maximum and then another color for the minimum. So. To do this, first we are going to make a new column called min, another called max. Now, with any of these columns, what we're going to do is we're going to write a formula that says, okay, um, if this cell right here is the minimum of this range, then it's going to return the minimum. If not, it's going to return an A. So to do this, to equals if this equals the minimum of this range the value for true would be this range but if it's not the minimum then just return an a um, and the reason why it's an a is because of an a whenever graphs on a chart will just show up as blank um, so that's why it's an a now as you can see this is not the minimum so it returns an a but for going into the solid itself locking these down so function f4 because i'm on a laptop or f4 in front of pc um, locking this down to lock the range highlighting this down and as you can see everything is na except for the min now we're going to do the same thing for the max um, so copy and paste this over going into this the going into the um formula now adjusting the little blue boxes to be in the right column and changing the min function to the max. Con control C and then placing that down. And so you can see it does the same thing for the max, but it, there is the only the max value which is 380 for the range and everything else is NA. Now what we're going to do with this is going to get this bar chart, make it a clustered bar chart and then adjust the series overlap so that way the series appear to be one and then it kind of gives a visual effect of highlighting the maximum or the minimum bar so to do this we're going to first add the new ranges that we just made so click on the little filter icon click select data and as you can see right now there's only one range selected we're going to add a new range the min the series name is going to be min and then the values that represent the series is going to be this right here. Click OK. And click OK. And now as you can see we have one bar for the minimum. And now we're going to do the same thing but for max. So click on the, the little filter icon. Click select data. Click add. Series name max. And then series values is the values that represent the max. So click OK. Click OK. Now we have a clustered. Uh, now we have a clustered bar chart where we have two bars for the minimum, two two bars for the maximum, and two bars for the minimum. So to adjust this so that way we only have one of these two bars showing where applicable, we're going to click on one of the bars to highlight them all. Then right click. After right clicking, this little menu will pop up. Go to the bottom of it. Click Format Data Series. And then the magic trick right here is in the series overlap. So as you can see, um, it overlap less whenever it goes negative, but we're going to change this to be all the way 100%. And as you can see, whenever we do this 100%, the, the values that were once clustered now completely overlap each other. And because the original values and the values that are clustered completely overlap each other, it gives us, and because these are exactly the same, and because this 380 is equal to this 380, for this, for this bar right here, it gives us visual effect where you have a different highlighting color for the maximum and a different highlighting color for the minimum. And it's it's dynamic too. So, you know, I mean, not in this particular example, but the chart changes based on the data that you give it. So let's just say we change this 95 to 20. Click OK. And as you can see, the, the chart and the color adjusts. So that way the... Now the, the smallest bar is 20, and then this, the 
bar is turned out 75, turns blue. So, and then the formula did too. So let's just say we wanted this 173 to be 500 now. As you can see, the bar changed too. Um, now the first one is gray. And you can, of course, adjust the color too. So I just say you don't like gray. We know you can change something to something more fun. I don't know. Green. Change the fill to be like light blue instead and have all the other um, charts be, I don't know, uh, yellow or orange of some sort. So yeah, I hope you found the, the, this cool it's cool trick to be helpful. Um, I, I always always feel like tricks like this can really go a long ways in stepping up your visualizations and making them so much better. And it can be tied into a lot of other things to make them your charts more dynamic. Um, so if you like this, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. We're getting ever so closer to that thousand subscriber mark. So thank you so much for all the support. You'll have a great day.